So for today, we're going to be looking at Fair Silver. This is the shader from Iron Banner. Real quick, I'm recording this ahead of time because today is the 17th. This video should be going up at the 25th, if not the 26th, which is the week of Iron Banner. So if you guys want to get this shader, definitely get it. It is really, really cool. Granted, it doesn't have anything unique to it. Like, for example, last season's where it was Chainmail. Uh, but it is a really good shade. I really, really do like it. We're going to be looking at how it shaders with plate armor and cloth armor as well and see some of the glows that it has. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you guys are going to be picking this up because it is from resetting twice. Technically, you reset and then you have to get to legend, which is at that point you basically reset. So it is rough, but I I still would recommend this shader because the shader from last season is not dropping in the loop pool. At least I haven't seen anyone talk about it. So that probably means that the new shaders that come out are probably not going to be rotating into the like world pool, I guess you would say, at least not yet. Might never know. It might like just have it might take like a season or two for the new shaders to come in. But I'd rather much have it now than later because I can make stuff now. So. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's look at the, how this armor shaders. So to start off, we're going to be looking at plate armor and I'm going to give you guys uh, a look with the shader. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the whole spiel where I show you everything. It's just going to be pieces of the armor set just because I want I want these videos to be super fast, um, not only with the length of the video, but like the development of the video as well. That's why you have pictures instead of videos uh, circulating and whatnot. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the two on the left and the cool thing about this armor is i really like the green it is a really rich green that you get the only unfortunate part is there's a lot of plate armor where i'm like there's so many things happening for the arms you guys will see that's actually the main color of the plate armor and then from the chest piece and the thigh piece you guys will see this off color which is the brown right there and then speaking of off colors you guys will see on the left side it has the off color of the like light, light greenish and then the off white color right there that's going to be off colors as well. Other than that, the glow is green. Um, I don't think there's any other glow. At least I haven't seen any other glow, but I'm not. I don't hate this shader. I just think it looks kind of um, uninspired, I guess. I don't know. It's really hard to explain. Like, I don't think this shader is bad. We've had that. We, de we have definitely had worse shaders in the past, but this also doesn't wow me. It's just kind of like it's a cool green shader. But I think the plate armor also has like some weird coloration where I'm like, eh, it's fine. It kind of looks like like old iron, I guess, like an old metal look, which is cool. And then for the right side, you guys will see like just like a quick set that I made a, a usual tactical set that I usually have. And I think I, I think I got this from a video, actually, if not. Oh, well, but yeah, I, I like a lot of the pieces that I used in this set. And again, these are just supposed to show you what the shader can do with an armor set, specifically with like an actual fashion set instead of just using all one armor piece because that's not what I do. As for cloth, you guys will see a lot of weird off colors. You guys will see on the arms on the left side uh, is just like this beige almost color, which is cool. It also has a texture as well. Just to be aware of that. Uh, the green is going to be the main color, but then you see another off color, which is a little bit more of the brown side and also has a texture. And then for leather, it actually is just completely white, which is super, super weird. So yeah, I again, I don't have an issue with this shader, especially for cloth, because cloth, you get that rich green and it's really cool, especially on the one on the far right. You guys will see it's just a lot of green, a lot of really cool colors. And I mean, to be fair, the only colors I really see from the one on the right side is just going to be uh, green, like the that light beige and white. That's really all the colors you see. But I think it, it is really cool on cloth armor. I think I like it. I think I prefer. I think I prefer it on cloth armor instead of plate armor just because the green is really good. And again, of course, the one on the right side is the armor set that I usually would go with for cloth. Like, I think it looks really cool aside from the helmet. The helmet doesn't have cloth, cloth armor, but I didn't want to have any like different colors. I just wanted to have like all one color. That's why I'm using the pieces that I'm using. So I'm actually liking this shader a lot more. The more I use it, uh, even with plate armor, I can still find ways to make some really cool sets with it. But it's just going to be one of those shaders where it's like, that looks cool. But like the other shaders from Iron Banner have just been such bangers that I just kind of have like a high uh, expectation for Iron Banner shaders now, which is unfortunate, I guess, because in a time once upon a time, I probably would have said the shader is a banger. But I don't know. 
let me know what you guys think that's pretty much it again these videos are supposed to be short because i just want to show you the shader and if i make it super duper extra then it's gonna not only take more time to make but i also might not just make it because i have other things working in the background specifically like i'm working on the exotic videos that i said i was gonna do once i was done with everything else which that is true i'm working on that i'm working on a tier list for all of the season pass ornaments which i've already recorded the audio i just have to actually edit it and a commendations video which i've been wanting to do for a while so i have a lot of content planned don't think that oh he's done with all of the armor for the expansion that means he has no content i have a lot of content and like i'm not even kidding it's pretty wild so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later